hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com My name's Jason Newland and this is a hypnosis session hopefully um, depending hopefully if I don't cough um, I haven't actually produced a hypnosis session since the 4th of May it's now the 22nd I think um, due to a chest infection so I will be drinking water and whatever other liquids I can get hold of just to make sure that you know I don't cough during this session I have attempted a few sessions over the last few days and each time ended up coughing so fingers crossed So, I've decided that I'm going to be producing a lot more sessions soon. Uh, it's kind of um, dependent, of course, on time and uh, resources. But having had, you know, about two and a half weeks where I've been unable to produce anything. It's given me a bit of a, a motivation to do more. So, I was thinking what kind of hypnosis session should I do? That's a good question. What should I do? What, what could I do? And what I've been thinking about um, lately, or the last day or so, is very much about guilt. About, I guess, about forgiving yourself and letting go of guilt. Because I don't know about you, obviously I, I'm not there with you. Um, I know that some people are brought up to believe that guilt is in some way useful. Um, and I guess the only use it could possibly have is as a deterrent I guess as a reminder not to do the same thing again which is definitely a useful thing if the behavior is harmful to yourself or another person but do you need guilt in order for you to remember that that behaviour from the past is no longer either valid or necessary in your life in the future which I think is quite a good question because guilt has so much so many negative connotations and there's a degree of self-punishment self-imprisonment because can anyone really be free as long as they've got guilt inside them how can anyone be free how can anyone really be happy? How can anyone really move on with their life until guilt is resolved and dissolved and let go of that guilt? 
which brings up other ideas of maybe something that's the equivalent to guilt but not quite as harmful, something maybe like shame. To feel ashamed of ourselves having done something that has hurt another person or ourselves. A behaviour that you can feel ashamed about. So there's an emotion there. You know, there's a big flag waving saying, no, don't do that again. Look at what's happened. Look at the effect of that behaviour. And you can then decide that no, you're not going to do that again. And you can just let it go and move on. So shame can be, I guess, a natural thing. To feel a bit ashamed over some behaviour that was harmful to another person or to yourself. Maybe you just embarrassed yourself. Which is something we all do from time to time. It just means that you're human. So... Maybe it's time to allow guilt to, to just go, leave. And if you have some kind of stuckness, which some people will have, or if you disagree with anything that I've said um, due to maybe uh, religious beliefs, you know, that Maybe you feel that you're supposed to have guilt and it's healthy. It's not healthy, but you can believe it's healthy, but you're wrong. Um, there's nothing healthy about guilt other than if it stops you from helping, hurting another person. But it's not healthy because guilt is connected with hatred, self-hatred, self-punishment. How is that healthy? on a human level. Let's just stick to human, you know, reality, life, me, you, human beings, emotions, feelings, brains working correctly. So forgetting all the fantasy stuff out of the way. Anything that might be fantasy, anything that might feel real, but just keeping it at a human level Guilt is unhelpful. Guilt is unhealthy. And I don't mean this as an opinion. I mean this as a fact. Not just my fact, but a fact. Not something that I believe, it's something that I know. And I don't mean that in an arrogant way. I mean that in a helpful way. same way that you teach your child to look before crossing the road. The child knows that they can just run across the road probably thousands of times without ever getting hit by a car. You know that too, you know. But you also know that if they never look, one day they will get hit by a car. That's just a fact. One day that will happen. So you teach that child to look both ways before crossing the road. And obviously make sure there's no traffic coming before they cross the road as well. That's an important bit to make sure you remember. If you don't teach the child to look both ways before crossing the road, then there is a good chance that child will end up in trouble. Even though that child may think, why am I being taught this? There's no traffic at the moment, there's no cars. I could just run across the road. I'll run across the road when you're not looking. I've never been hit yet. But you still teach them. Because even though they may believe 
that they're fine and they're invincible and they're too quick and they believe they're faster than cars. They're not faster than cars. You know that. They don't know that. So you let them know the fact that they need to look before crossing the road. It's not an opinion. It's not an opinion that someone should look and see if there's any traffic coming before they cross the road. It's something, it's a factual thing, it's something they need to do. You don't need to believe that you need to do that. You need to know that looking before you cross the road is something you know has to be done for your safety, for your child's safety. So some things are opinions, some things are facts. I realise if you get caught up in some kind of existential, philosophical, um, you know, way of thinking, every single thing can be pulled apart, I know that. But, you know, I try and keep away from people who do that, because there's no point to it. Everything and every idea can be pulled apart. But all they're doing is trying to be clever. And sometimes they are clever. So how clever are you? Are you too clever to accept that guilt is harmful? Do you know too much to accept that letting go of guilt will improve your life and allow you to feel happier and more contented and allow you to be free free to enjoy your life and that's the question really what is it that stops you from letting go of guilt maybe it's pride another useless thing I think really pride and guilt are kind of on the same ballpark and both can cause harm to yourself and to your life if you hold on to them you know so if you got stuck down a well and you, your pride stopped you from calling for help eventually you die you died with pride what's it done for you maybe you felt guilty you fell down the well and you felt guilty because you were told not to go near the well so you didn't call for help because you didn't want anyone to know that you were guilty of doing something you were told not to do so guilt and pride both result in in catastrophe but this session isn't about pride this is about guilt. This is about letting go of guilt. This is about really waking up to the fact that guilt is useless. All it does is punish you. You punishing yourself. For what? Because you've done something that maybe was terrible. Something that you can maybe, you think to yourself, you can never forgive yourself. You can never forget it. You can never change what's happened. Well, that's the point, you can't change what's happened. Give up trying to have a better past. Move forward. And no matter how terrible the action may have been that's causing this guilt inside you, it's not helping you. How is it helping you? How is it helping 
maybe the other person, if there was another person involved, how's it helping them? How's it helping your family? How's it helping your friends? How's it helping your work colleagues? How's it helping your bank balance? How's it helping your partner, your wife, your husband, your children, your parents? How's that guilt that's inside you helping anybody? Really, that's a question. How is it helping? So it stops you from doing the same thing that you did before. You don't need guilt for that. You just need a memory. That's all. A memory. Remembering. Never to do that thing again. That may be caused you know, pain for yourself or another person. It's just remembering. Remembering that you do have control. You do have choices over what you can do, over what you do next. You can choose to let go of guilt because guilt is of no use to you and those that really want to hold on to it turn this off go away just get on with your life do whatever you're doing and move on if you want to hold on to it then do it's up to you your choice it makes no difference to me those of you that do want to let go and those of you with the intelligence to realize the fact that guilt is a poison that poisons your own system, imprisons yourself. When you realize that, that's when you can let go. That's when you realize that actually you've imprisoned yourself with this guilt. You have the key. So you're inside this prison cell, you have the key, you're the only one that has the key to open the door and let yourself out. When you realise that you had the key the whole time, just unlock the door, step out. Decide that you're never going to allow yourself to cause this horrible limiting negative feelings that you've had blaming and hating how is that helpful how is hating yourself helpful in any way how is blaming yourself helpful in any way how can that help that can help to increase misery that can help to increase depression. That can help to give you lots of really horrible feelings which can lead to really negative and self-defeating behaviours. How is that helpful at all? So you've got this thing called guilt inside you, in your mind, in your body, in your soul, in your life, this thing that holds you back, this thing that is of no use, this poison, prison, which you have the key to unlock that door from the inside and step out. And there's something about that, there's something special I think about being able to choose to let go. Being able 
to choose that you're no longer going to stay in any unwanted feeling and you really can choose to let go you really can choose to allow yourself to be more than perhaps you believed possible in the past but now you know that you can let go of guilt you can release that guilt you can just allow it to dissolve realizing that it was never real if it was real then show it to me in your hands hand it to me hand this thing hand, that we call guilt hand it to me show it to me you can't because it's a made up thing it's an idea it's a thought a thought a cluster of thoughts attached to emotion that you've allowed to feel real as if it's a real thing allowing that to affect your mind and your body and your life in a negative unhelpful unhealthy way that you can now move away from because this is of no use to you anymore what use could it possibly be now aren't you worth more than this aren't you worth time it takes to decide that you are in charge of your own life and you will not be held ransom by a negative emotion that doesn't even exist except in your mind you can allow that same process to allow those negative feelings of guilt to dissolve just let go so that you're no longer punishing yourself so that you can forgive yourself and you can still remember those things that you choose not to repeat those actions and behaviors that are unnecessary or that you really will not allow anymore to allow those feelings just to dissolve and you can let them go and you can relax into the knowledge that you are more than just a thought and you are more than guilt because you can let it go so enjoy the rest of the day feeling wonderful